Hello folks and welcome to another edition of the Better Save with Wellington Phoenix. Let's get stuck in. So as we're recording the latest uh, better patch, I think 9.02 has been released. It hasn't affected my game. It's only really going to be affecting those for the major league updates. I think it was the Turkish and uh, a Finnish one as well. So Fingers crossed, and I have, I've been playing this all morning now for quite a few games, and no issues at all with the save, so it's all good, and it's good to see a patch is already out after, what, two, three days, so it's really good there. Now, anyway, let's get stuck into it, so last time you were with us, we had a victory, we were champions, alright, FFA Cup champions, we then followed us up with a thumping 2-0 home, def uh, yeah, 2-0 defeat to Sydney FC, bang, down to earth I wasn't overly I mean I would have liked to have won or draw as you always do but to be honest this was played basically two days or three days after the victory game you got to take into account after we we got a whole day of recovery uh, bef after the Melbourne victory game so basically we only had two days then was the traveling so we didn't really have any much time at all in terms of training and of course it was heavily rotated for the squad including goalkeeping uh, I started out basically my understudied central defenders and a whole host of players so yeah that's why 2-0 loss it, unfortunately it is what it is but at the end of the day we are able to then bounce back against the Central Coast Mariners with a 3-0 win. Uh, David Williams and Nathan Burns getting two goals there. A very good uh, way to come back from the Sydney defeat. Again, full, uh, pretty much an almost full strength team barring injuries, which you would have seen Krishna store out in the last video. I put a little bit there mentioning Krishna's injury. We then went and hosted the Brisbane Roar at Westpac Stadium. A nice good old 2-0 win in a match we dominated they didn't have much chances we really did take this game by the scruff of the neck and it was a great win Alex Roof a nice early goal set us up and then Mac Burgess just before the half there uh, finishing it up and it was yeah good and it was able to bring on a couple of low players in the substitutions bench then we went to face Melbourne again this was a frustrating nil little draw <sighs> it was frustrating because Nothing seemed to happen here. Um, it was just, as you can see, the stats, fairly average stats there. Really, there's only two players who hit sevens. The rest were in the sixes. A lot of yellow cards for both teams. It was just a, a poor draw, really. Uh, yeah, so disappointing. I think we could have won this game. I did go unlucky uh, for the team talk at the end there, which was fair comment, I think, as well. We then went to top of the table, Adelaide United, and got absolutely humiliated. I kind of, <laughs> in the presser before, I, I went off about how old the team is, and, you know, they're going to be slow and all this, and we just got nailed. We had no answer to them, to be honest. I tried everything. I let the kids, I let them know that it was a disappointing performance, because it was. You look at the stats there, I mean, Mitch Nicholas a 5.9, nobody even near a 7 rating. Uh, three goals, just bang, 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 you know. We just couldn't get into it. We had some chances, we just couldn't. And Krishna came off the bench and made a start there. We then, thankfully, in the last game here, away to at Sydney, Western Sydney Wanderers. A nice 2 0 win there. Nathan Burns and Taylor on the score sheet, two late goals. Uh, it was a game I was happy to win, and I thought we should have won. We were the better team throughout, so it was good to pick up those goals there. Taylor having the best game he's had with us. And first goal for him and Nathan Burns as well. A couple of yellows. And Krishna pretty much played the whole game. Didn't get into it as much. I mean, he's just coming back from a long time off, so that's what it is. And then today we have the Central Coast Mariners. So we are at home to CCM or Central Coast Mariners, a team that we should be winning here against. We are, as you can see here, second on the table. Uh, they are rock bottom. And Adelaide, as you can see there, 27 points, firmly in the top. And also, look at that goal differential, 16. So, yeah, it kind of puts that 3-0 loss into some sort of perspective. So I'm hoping we have a good game here and pick up some much-needed points. We are do have the team selected so we're not mucking to it there i've made a little bit of rotation 
and but not too much. So we've got Kurto in goal, we've got Wayne and Doyle as fullbacks or wingbacks. In the centre we've got Taylor and Fox. Now Top Fox a few games ago asked for some first team choice chances. I said I'll give you some starts and that's basically why he's in the game. He is starting. He plays about half an hour. Uh, not half an hour, at least half time, or maybe a little bit after half time, and then I'll change him over. He's doing okay. I've there, I've put Cascarano in as the defensive midfield here, just to give um, Kapaninski a rest. We have then up front, in the middle, we have Rufa as the advanced playmaker, and Singh as a Mazella. And on the wings, we have Burns as a attacking winger, and Way back from injury as well as the other winger on attack, with Krishna up front as the advance forward. I am training Burns, I think I have mentioned this, to go as a inside forward as well. So what I usually do is in the game, during the game I may change him to the inside forward to offer a little bit more support to Krishna there going forward. And that's it. So let's get stuck into this game without further ado, shall we? And we'll see how we go. So how are you guys enjoying Football Manager? General um, 19, the general feedback that I've seen and heard and read has just been positive. And for my own size, I think it is, it's a definite positive there. Um, you know, let's give the fans, let's just get out there and do it. I'm going to go to midfield here. I'm going to go assertive. I want you to go out there, centre midfield. Get us the control. Nothing really said. Tunnel, how much of a boost is Mitchell McGlinchey's absence? I don't, I'm going to send my assistant. I don't like those sort of questions. Because I don't focus much on the other teams, to be honest. And it's like, meh. We'll see how we go. So CCM kick off. He's just standing there. He's done. No, I was... Oh, don't worry. I'm about tired this morning. Got a few coffees. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. It's been a few late nights. <laughs> awesome stream last night from Bobby G. Really good for CS Madrid's stream. But, uh, yeah... I think I, I was after what, midnight before I went to bed. It's been a few late nights, but that's all been fun, all FMing and getting some, you know, content as they go for the early cross. And we do manage to clear it, but not too far. Or has got the ball, it's pretty much on true. He's going to go for goal, and it's wide, thankfully. But yeah, I'm enjoying Football Manager 2019. Uh, the save will go until. Like I have mentioned, the plans until the Oceania Challenge can start off. I may, at this stage, this is at this stage, I've got the plan schedule out there, which I will cover after this game. So the idea is by Friday I should have completed the season. Because uh, I just want to cover every team at least once. Uh, I think a whole season in a week's not too bad, especially for beta. You know, I'm doing it every day here as we've got the early cross and burns straight to the goalkeeper. Now I, I will now change burns. So I'm going to just make that change. And I think Burns can play as the inside forward, as an attacker. And we'll just give that extra there, hopefully. Support, he'll cut inside a little bit more and help out and just push the defence there. With Rufo goes to Singh. Singh just went for a goal. Burns falls to Burns, but he just couldn't get a strike away. Uh, sometimes, I'll, you know, it's like, shoot, man, shoot. So 23rd minutes, we're doing okay. I, I don't think we need to do a shout right now. I have noticed a lot. Goalkeeper came out when you do the uh, encouragements shout because now you get the feedback from the shout at times and it's like I get frustrated in that. It's like, how can you be frustrated with encouragement? I don't understand it. That's right. Of course, a lot of that will deal into mentality as Central Coast now come on to the attack or pretty much left alone, well saved to actually cross that ball, which is a bit of a worry. I'm going to go and just check out my. It's still getting defensive width is very wide. Um, yep, I'm going to push us up a bit more. I'm going to push Krishna right to the top. Hopefully it'll give us, give us a little bit more space in that attacking midfield section, Ooh, which will help then Burns be able to just have a bit more uh, opportunity and cause more mayhem within that uh, gaps, if that makes sense. And we're going to run at the defense for a wee bit there. Do we still have, we still have early crosses, okay, we don't want early crosses, that was from the last game. So as we approach, well we're in the extra time now of uh, the first half, and this is yeah, a drab draw so far, we do need to do a bit more. Yep, I agree with what the assistant manager is saying, let's going to have a look at just some of the analysts. Uh, 
Work ball into box. That might be a good shout, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, let's have a look. Um, yep. And let's go ahead and start that second half. Okay. So Rufa on the ball to Taylor. Taylor finds Singh, who brings it up. Oh, I saw what he was trying to do there. Never mind. We are playing direct. I just wonder if we should play like short passing. Uh, I'd, yeah, we'll see. Direct has kind of helped us throughout, throughout most of the season, though, to passing. As we are now well done, keeper. No difference there. Okay. Burns now. We've got the free kick. Can he do anything? No. It deflects up, and it should be our throw in. Oh, yeah, I, I've noticed goalkeeping uh, when I watch the games, the highlights, the goalkeeper motions are less, you know, a, a lot better. They don't seem to, I haven't really come across any stupid errors as such. Um, I guess there was one the other day where it's like I felt the goalkeeper could have come forward and, you know, attacked the ball instead of just holding it. But that wasn't really, I don't think, an issue because at times you will may see goalkeepers do that. Have you guys ever come, have you come across any major issues in terms of some of the, what you see in the gameplay, especially if you are playing 3D? Especially in the goalkeepers, because that was a, a gripe with a lot of people. Now Burns finds Krishna in the box, and he goes for goal. Oh, just Samana. Just wide. Okay, we are going to put a shout out now, and we are going to ask them to, for more, and that focuses them up a bit. I think we are a better team here. Okay, we have, they got the throw, intercepted way. Goes back to the goalkeeper, hoofs it long. Can he find? No, it was a bit too long. It would be nice to see uh, Krishna run a little bit more. But yeah, Krishna's coming back from an injury, so it'll take him a while to get back into the thing. Oh, what a wasted pass that was. Thankfully, Way gets the ball, uh, and he's then dispossessed. Come on, guys. Okay, this should be yours, Taylor. Keep running it. Oh, it's cut inside. Great save. Ah, gee. Unfortunately, the parry was back to the attacker. He was able to slot it back. That's, ah. I think Taylor should have done a lot better there. I am going to make that substitution. How is Fox playing? Playing a 6.5, so I'm not really fussed right now. I'm going to bring Capiscone on for... He's playing as a 6.7, though. How's Doyle playing? 6.5, 6.3. Decisions. Um, actually, we won't rule that. I'm going to put Fent bring Fenton on for Wayne. We'll just confirm that. Okay, we got the position again. Ways on the ball to Rufa. Rufa's looking, goes wide to Doyle. Doyle, intercepted by McCormick to Cisse. Okay, we are going to... Um, I can't remember what we were going to do. I'm going to go... I'm going to drop... Okay, we are losing here. I'm going to drop to positive. And we are going to freaking demand some more. We're going to show. So we're going to ask them to show some passion, lads. I know it was from a, a set piece, but really we should be doing a hell of a lot better here. I'm kind of feeling a little bit. What the hell do we do now? So we are going to make a substitution, and we're definitely going to bring on Taylor, off Taylor it's for Durante. And I'm thinking of, I really don't know how else are we looking here. I'm going to take way off and going to bring Williams on. And we're going to confirm that. Ah, yeah, not ideal. We just need to do more. We're going to take off that work in the ball. We're going to go early crosses here. I'm going to mix them up. We're going to stop running at the defense, though. In transition, we're actually going to counter-press them. I want my goalkeeper to distribute quickly, too. 80th minute, so this is not the ideal. We should have come in here. We should have won. We were favorites. We just... Uh, have we been FM'd? I don't really think we have. Okay, Fenton with the kick. He f yeah, Sing goes wide to Perns. He just gives it away with a 
and now here we go. Are we, oh, thank far out he blew that chance. We are now going to go back to attacking here. I'm going to shout, and we are going to demand some more again. I think it's just, and Doyle, yeah, Doyle's having a bad game too. I should have put him off, but I just, he's already come on as a substitution here. And he's pretty much, oh my goodness, beaten, almost beaten there. Yeah, clutch it gratefully. We've got four minutes at a time. I don't think we can pull two goals back. <coughs> Single with the corner goes very wide. No one's there. I need to go and have a look at the corn, uh, corner setters up and see how it's all set up. That's still at the default. Ah, oh, well, that's not the way to go, and I am going aggressive here, and I am going that performance. Absolute bayholics. So, as that goes through, and yet, ease to victory, I'm just going to cut touch on the planned schedule for now. Let me know what your thoughts are. So, we have played Central Coast Mariners now. I am going to look back to coming back for the Sydney FC game here. Uh, and then the Western Sydney Wanderers game. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to look at, at this stage, all these matches to be played as double headers. So we're going to come back after the Western Sydney to play uh, double header Adelaide and Brisbane, and then Melbourne and Perth. We'll see how we go, especially depending on how the table goes. We are still second in the table at this stage. But after what happened, it's going to be... Uh, year very disappointing very very disappointing and i'll leave that disappointment with there <laughs> let me know your thoughts down below if you like this video hit that like button if you're new to the channel please do subscribe and comment down below guys comment 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 all right folks i'm enjoying football manager 2019 everything's going well with the phoenix let's see how we go all right folks take it easy i am pakira over and out kia kaha